Well, <laughs> it's also true that uh, it sometimes takes less than an instant to flood your mind with glorious memories of the past. For instance, let's recall the early days of entertainment in America. Well, there were drawing room musicales, big time vaudeville, and even the old medicine shows. There's one more we haven't left it out. No, we just simply mention it last because, well, it's first in our minds tonight, the minstrel show. A wholesome and fascinating form of entertainment which has been used in churches and schools and clubs all over the country for many, many years. So because uh, minstrelsy means good, clean, fun, and wonderful music, we continue in the spirit of all good minstrel shows with the greatest of dignity and respect. Gentlemen, the opening chorus. <laughs> Gentlemen, be seated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the American Mammoth Minstrels, directed by Professor Cully. <laughs> Tonight, it is our extreme pleasure to present many of your favorite minstrel performers. Mr. Interlocutor! Yes, Mr. Bones. I crave conversation you? with Mr. Tambo over there. With Mr. Tambo? Proceed, yeah. Mr. Bones. Mr. Tambo! Yeah. Why pose you all scratching yourself? Why, that's because I is the only one who knows where I itch. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Tambo. Yeah. What is your first name? Uh, Sufficient. So who? Sufficient. Why, fool you, how come you all got that the first name, Tambo? Well, sir, I was the 17th child in my family, and when I was born, my ma, she says, that's sufficient. <laughs> <laughs> and that's sufficient from you, Mr. Bones and Mr. Tambo. Now, a song from our silver voice tenor, Mr. Bernash. Thou wilt come no more, gentle Annie. Like a flower, thy spirit did depart. Thou art gone, alas, like the many. Again. 
When the springtime comes, gentle and Mr. McClintock, are you acquainted with Mr. Fleming? No, sir. You are not? No, sir. Mm. Ain't speaking. Oh, and why is that? Well, his, well, his dog done bit me. His dog bit you? Yeah, I That isn't true, Mr. Interlocutor. Mm -hmm. Well, prove it. Well, in the first place, my dog, he ain't got no teeth. Yep. And in the second place, my dog, he ain't ferocious. Is that so? And in the third place, my dog, he's particular about who he bites. Oh. And in the fourth place, I ain't got no dog. <laughs> Gentlemen, are you ready for a comedy song? Yes, we will now hear from Mr. Carlson. My wife and I live all alone In a little log hut we call our own She loves gin and I love rum I tell you what, we've lots of fun <laughs> You and me, a little brown jug, don't I love thee? <laughs> you and me, a little brown jug, don't I love thee? <laughs> Tis you who makes my friends my foes. Tis you who makes me wear old clothes. Here you are so near my nose. So tip her up and down she goes. Ah, 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 you and me, little brown jug, don't I love thee? Ah, 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 you and me, little brown jug, Little brown jug, don't I love thee? We all love thee. <laughs> Mr. Bones, why are you sobbing so? Oh, it's a sad story. <laughs> Tell us your sad story and song, Mr. Bones. Oh, Bone. I can't. It's too sad. Oh, uh, Mr. Inlocketum? Yes, Mr. Uh, I'd like to help him out. If you please, Mr. Fleming, if you please. <laughs> the morn of life is past. And evening comes at last It brings me a dream Of the once happy day Of merry forms I've seen Upon the village green Sporting with my old dog tray Trace ever faithful, grief cannot drive him away. He's gentle and he's kind. I'll never, never find a better friend than old Dog Oh, dog trains ever faithful Grief cannot drive him away He's gentle and he's kind I'll never, 
Uh, yes, Mr. Churchill. Now? Not now, Mr. Churchill. I'll let you know. Mr. Bones, why that far away look in your eye? Well, I was just talking to a distant relative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who might that distant relative be, Mr. Bones? My cousin, Mr. Evans. Mm -hmm. He owes me 20 bucks. Who owe oh, who 20 bucks? May you owe me 20 bucks. But I'm gonna be fair with you. I'm gonna forget half of that 20 bucks. That's good, cause I'm gonna forget the other half. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, calm yourselves. Money, like horses, should not come between friends. As the Messrs. Seckler and Sachs tell you in their song. <laughs> Song, do da, do da, do da, do da. I came down race track five miles long. Oh, do da day. I come down there with the hat cape in. Do da, do da, do da, do da. I go back home in a pack full of team. Oh, do da day. One run all day, one run all day. I paid my money in a bottle and eggs. Somebody bet on the bay, 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 on the bay. The long tail fitting the big black horse. Do da, do da, do da, do da. Can ride the track and the boat cut across. Oh, do da day. The blind horse digging in the big mud hole. Do da, do da, do da, do da. Can't touch bottom with a ten foot pole. No, do da day. One run all day. Why the run on day? I bet my money in the bottle and eggs. Somebody bet on the bay, on the bay, on the bay, on the bay, on the bay. See them running to ten mile heat? Do da, do da, do da. Round the racetrack and repeat. Oh, the do da day. I bet my money in the bottle and eggs. Do da, do da. Take it home in the old tow bag. Oh, the do da day. Why the run on day? Why the run on day? I bet my money in the bottle and eggs. Somebody bet on the bay. Mr. Bones, who is the smartest gentleman here? Ah, oh, is the smartest gentleman here, Mr. Interlocutor? That is not so. On account of I is the smartest gentleman here. Huh. Longboy, if you so smart, uh -huh. riddle me this. Uh, go ahead. What comes in pairs? Uh-oh. Pairs. <clears throat> I have it. Scissors. Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, no, huh? No. Well, um... <clears throat> I know. Pants. They comes in, pals. No, that ain't it either. Not pants, huh? Oh. Mm. Well, um, I give up. What comes in pairs? Pear seeds. Ah! <laughs> 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 